Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're taking a look at a space game that was recently released on Steam with, I guess, mixed reviews? Some people say it's good, some people say it's bad. Let's find out what it's about and let me actually tell you about Far Out. Anyway, welcome to What The Mad. So, like in so many other games that involve uh, spacecraft and mystery, you basically, once again, wake up somewhere in an unknown environment, on an unknown ship, not knowing who exactly you are and what to do. And even though the storyline is not super original, at least in the beginning, it does actually become a lot more interesting as you progress through the game. I'm not going to spoil much here, I'm actually just going to give you a brief overview of what this game is all about. Because I actually would like uh, those of you who are interested to play this uh, by yourself. But before I start, I actually just wanted to mention this is still an early access game. And that means that there's quite a lot of bugs. As a matter of fact, most of the negative reviews of this game are because of the bugs. And so we're going to basically try to go through this game. Um, and uh, I'm going to try to see if I can maybe show you what it's about without spoiling too much. Now... When you start, you basically find yourself in this room, and you might want to actually take a look at your locker number right there, 732. And, and then click the green button here to open the door. This game is actually procedurally generated, but not to like the extent where everything is random all the time. But... Anyone there? You don't really know what's happening. As a matter of fact, uh, in the beginning of the game, you'll be pretty confused about things. I will... As a matter of fact, I'm still confused about most of the game uh, and I've tried to replay this several times just to kind of get more and more uh, info and more and more storyline um, until I kind of started getting the idea of maybe just maybe this ship is not all what it seems. Um, I'm gonna sh just show you some of the things you can do here and as soon as you enter this room you'll start getting some info here on how to grab and interact with objects. And how to drop them on the floor as well. Uh, now, we're here to open up our locker, which is... Oh, someone's screaming. Maybe? Someone's saying, let me go. Okay. Okay. Amy? Amy? What, where are you screaming, Amy? Where are you, Amy? Are you here? You're not here. Amy? 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 Are you here? Amy? Okay. I think Amy is dead now. A a Amy? Anyway. Anyway. So this is what this game is like. It's basically a mystery adventure space puzzle game. Uh, you're going to be... Ooh get slammed by doors. You're going to be walking around and you're going to be exploring this mysterious ship and trying to figure out what is going on, where is everybody, what happened to Amy, and why you are practically naked. You're wearing undies in space. Let's go open our locker. Let's try to see what's inside our locker. I believe the number was 732. It's actually generated differently every single time you start the game, so just giving you this number will not help you much. Uh, but there is our stuff, including our bowl that we brought with us to space. Um, now, now we're not so naked anymore. And, uh, I'm gonna try to see if there's anything else useful here. What I'm really enjoying about this game so far is the atmosphere and also the amount of detail they put into it. As a matter of fact, it, the posters alone are actually kind of worth just reading and exploring. Uh, there's a few posters mentioning real actual stars in space that you basically kind of uh, may have learned about if you watch some of the videos on the channel. And uh, most importantly, some of the stuff in here is really, really, really cool. Let's see if I can actually control the showers. Can I take a shower? I probably can't, right? Because I'm wearing clothes. Yeah, I probably can't. Um, never really tried before. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's let's see if we can maybe find something else in here. And specifically, what I would like to find is maybe some sort of a computer or a control panel that might help me figure out what's going on. And obviously, there is one. Uh, now, I don't want to really... I don't want to show you everything, but I do want to show you that you can pretty much interact with most of the things in the game. 
and oh this is the room i was going to show you with some of the posters here look at that these beautiful amazing posters mentioning real places and okay this one doesn't actually seem to mention anything um what uh is really interesting here oh look at that julian is flying in fly out working on explored places of a universe um uh, what is interesting about this particular game is how it delivers the story. It basically delivers it in pieces by exploring and reading things around um, around the place. Storage room. Uh, now, it's worth replaying this several times because apparently this game does have several endings. Uh, I don't know how many yet because I haven't really finished it even once. But I have played enough to know that there is a lot of options here. For example, one of the options in one of the previous playthroughs that I had was... Uh, to release the escape pods to save electricity, which I'm going to show you right now. You can actually do it from the control room. And that means that, you know, maybe just maybe you won't be able to escape the ship anymore. Because there are escape pods, it means that maybe you can escape the ship for whatever reason that is happening here, which I'm not going to spoil for you. And also you can click on pretty much every button and get sprayed in the face, just like that. Um, not sure why I did that, but, you know, why not? Uh, now, at some point, you'll also discover that you can run in this game. Why would you run in this game? Take a guess, huh? That's right. Run away. You'll have to run away. No other spoilers will be given here. Uh, okay, so here's the control room, and I think this will probably be one of the last locations I'll show you. Mostly because I don't want to just spoil too much. But basically, you have to, uh, first of all, you have, you have to sit down. And this will allow you to start using the ship's computer by clicking this button right here. Right? Oh, what am I missing? Okay. Okay. That's not what I expected. Oh, here we go. Oh, it Press the wrong button. Anyway, so here we are. Uh, flying through space Switch to high power mode, I think. and we now have access to let's just get rid of this junk here we have access to this pretty cool computer where you can basically interact with everything by pressing buttons now just like in alien isolation this is like an ancient 90s or late 80s computer that doesn't seem to really uh, make sense because this is clearly future but nevertheless, it's it's kind of cool. It's it's pretty awesome. So, anyways, uh, let's click on some of the buttons here. And I actually think that some of the buttons were changed from the previous playthrough I had, which means that maybe just maybe I'll be able to do different things here. Uh, let's do a report. Let's see what's going on. And look at that. Spoiler alert: human pre non-human presence detected. Unknown infection detected. Something is happening on the ship. Something that we don't really want to face in uh, in this particular playthrough. Now, I do actually want to do a let's play of this game at some point in the future, mostly when I both have more time to play it and also when um, this game has a more stable release. Currently, this is actually probably the main negative part I have to say about this game is that it is a little bit buggy. It does have a tendency to get stuck in places and it has a tendency to... Um, to essentially uh, lock you in and crash, kind of, uh, unofficially. I've already gotten stuck a couple of times, I had to basically restart the game, but those places were not super important. It does save itself though, but um, there are reports that you might have to actually start over the game if you get stuck in certain, loca uh, certain locations. Um, this is why this game has a mixed review on, on Steam right now, and I think this is probably the only negative thing I have to say about this game. It is, though, a very interesting, very atmospheric puzzle game that uh, seems to involve a cargo ship that is transporting what seem to be different specimen of different species from different planets, maybe? Maybe, just maybe, one of them kind of became loose. <laughs> this one is called Slimory. Slimori, Intelligent Level 4. And is it right behind me right now? Is it? I have a b horrible feeling about this. Anyway, so... Errors. That's right, there's errors. Uh, so, without further ado, I actually think I'm gonna stop this here. 
um, I do recommend this game for anyone who loves space adventures and who loves games that are atmospheric and involve some sort of a space mystery and a little bit of scary moments here and there. But this is definitely not a horror game. This is a space puzzle. Essentially, wrong button. What this game is all about is basically exploring and learning about what's happening on the ship and trying to basically at some point escape or maybe survive or maybe both. Oh no, it's a pretty cool game. Definitely a game that I'll be looking forward to playing as a full release comes closer to reality. But for now though, this is definitely a game uh, for people that just love supporting indie developers. This is actually a very small team. And also people that just want to play something that's already there. Other than that, uh, I'm going to stop this here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like me to play this uh, at some point, probably closer to, I guess, summer of 2018, um, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Come back tomorrow to learn something else and to possibly learn about some kind of a space mystery that is real, that is not a science fiction. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.